But these are no handmade shapes produced with highfalutin motivations. They're not mass-produced either. Each is unique and machine-made. In a shed at the bottom of his garden in Catford, carpenter sculptor Brian Wilshire turns out these wooden shapes on a bandsaw. Wilshire is no highbrow modernist. His work is abstract in concept, but this is instinctive art. He uses his bandsaw with the same dexterous yet precise flourish that a painter uses a brush. One-time dental technician, instrument maker and farm worker, Wilshire stumbled on this art form almost by accident. He set up on his own, wood turning with a circular saw, making table lamps and bowls. But he found the noise of the saw deafening, so he bought the quieter bandsaw. After months of doodling and experimenting with the bandsaw, he eventually developed his technique. Some purist sculptors may turn up their noses at Wilshire's efforts, but he uses his machine as a creative artist, and the results have achieved acclaim at three exhibitions of his work. So where does accepted art end and instinctive craft begin? Wilshire's creations are nameless. To him, they are just things. Most of his work includes some form of spiraling effect, achieved by cutting the segments at an angle. Though mass production plays no part in Brian Wilshire's work,